Hi guys and welcome, welcome back. All that good stuff. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker and as the title down below states, we will be unboxing my third month of Jimmy Bean. I'll walk you through what I got in it and I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the review because I already know everything I need to know at this point. Um, so number one, the box. Um, was not overly excited when I saw it was the tiny box again. A little on the side. Um, third month of the, or third installment of the pattern. And I did not know this. I did not know this was going to be a thing, but they give you a digital code so you can go to Ravelry and get just like the standard printout of the pattern, which I think that's amazing. That actually was one of those like weird, random, super cool things about this box that actually get a thumb up. Um, we got a nail file. I mean, he's cute, but it's a nail file. I don't use these. Um, I might, and it also wasn't in a bag by itself, which to me, that's kind of yicky. So I think I'm going to put him in a, cause I mean, they just pick up fuzzies and lint. I'm going to put him in a little plastic bag and add him to my 500 subscriber giveaway box. Cause I'm not going to use it as a nail file. And while it's cute, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> I'm very picky about my nail files. I use uh, crystal files, so. Um, I got one handmade lacy lotion and one soak lotion. I got a darning needle, which I also got one last month. And these are my little balls of yarn. So. I did open this one, this guy here. Um, I was feeling under the weather last week. Um, physically, it was not a very good week for me. So I did not get to film. But I did go ahead and open this because I wanted to know what was in it. And I kind of wanted to um, start running numbers and math. I knew I wasn't going to have time to film. But I did want to run the knowledge for you guys. So I did open it and I don't know if I can see how much I have written down here, but, um, I went a little hyper OCD on my math because I am like that on. All right. So first off, we're going to talk about the yarn quantities and contents that came in this three month kit. So this cascade is the cascade longwood sport. It comes in hanks of 273 yards for about 1450. That's about what I saw it on uh, Jimmy beans website and other websites. They didn't have like a massive markup on the cascade yarn. Um, in this box, we only got 147 yards, which came out to approximately $7.81 worth of the yarn. Um, so about half a hank. The Malbrigo is Malbrigo Arroyo. And I cannot remember the colorway. Maybe it's in here. That's just like white. Um, the cascade was just white. Arroyo in azul. Um, azul. Um, I got like super hyper and focused. That was kind of scary. Um, now Malbrigo is actually one of my like all time favorite luxury for me purchases. Uh, this one is $18 and 50 cent a hank. You get 335 yards. In this box, we only got 138 yards. So once again, we were in the $7 range. It was $7.62. Uh, 
And I got my meters or yardage um, from the tags that they sent. So what they said we got in each kit. So about $7.62 in that. This is Bamboo Pop by Universal. It is $8 for 292 yards. And this kit, we got 136 yards of it. So we got $4.27 of this yarn. So our yarn total for this box was $19.70. Now the box, I signed up for the monthly auto renewal box. So that was 20 bucks. It's um, $25 if you sign up for like three. So in the yarn, we have not matched the cost of the first box unless you include shipping. <clears throat> Which it says shipping is included for the one I subscribed to. Uh, but on average, based on the um, box size for the whole time, it would have only cost $9.75 to ship the box. Or thereabouts, approximately. So the other things that we got, so I showed you the soak, the hand cream, the needle, and the file. Let me pull my stuff out here. I am still working on it. I'm not done with month two yet. Um, it is a very slow going project. Part of it is all the color changes, which... I'm going to be honest, it's when you're, I said in the first video, I'm not a huge fan of mixing fibers like this. Um, we, we've got a wool, uh, a bamboo, and I actually, I don't have a problem with viscose and bamboo yarns. I think they're really nice, but they're kind of frustrating to work with because they're so slippery. Um, but in this case in particular, I mean, you can see where I've already got an end that's frumping up to the front. Um, it's very hard. Some of these have some very quick color changes. A lot of this was carried, so it's not as bad as it seems. This was one of the worst spots for weaving in ends. Um, it does take a while. That's where I was from the last, that's, that's the ends for that side. Um, you can't hide in the other yarns when you are mixing fibers like that. So, I mean, I still have very mixed feelings on the choice of the yarns for this project. Um, just because of the diversity in the fiber and even the plying, the way this is spun and plied versus the way this is spun and plied. Um, they're not overly compatible. They're not horrible together. Um, just kind of a weird choice. So it is taking me a little bit longer to, to work on it than I would have planned or hoped at this point. But I do like the pattern a lot. Um, if you wanted to go out on Ravelry, it, the pattern is Moxie by Marinda Larice. I would highly recommend the pattern itself. It is actually a very, very pretty sampler pattern. And it's well written. Oh, those are my, where I tally my rows. Because I don't use a row counter, traditional row counter. I'm weird. I know. Um, Back to everything else we got. We got a notepad that is dot graph paper. They value this at $2.50, but like I said, I can get something very, very similar at the Dollar Tree for like $0.25. Cent. Uh, and I can't remember if it's the Dollar Tree or not, but they do actually carry these with the dot paper versus the lined paper. So $2.50 for this one from, I think it's, yeah, it's Knit Namaste, which is also who does the um, bags that they sent out. Um, 
Notepad, $2.50. I beg to differ. Like I said, I can get one for about $0.25. Cent. Um, I'm missing something. These are the ones I got previously. I got a soak and two lotions previously. Um, all of these on their website are $1.10. Or a dollar and ten cent. Um, so I mean that's five bucks right there in value. The bag is on their website nine dollars and twenty cent is the best I could come up with for the price. Uh, it's not quite straight pricing. Um, this towel stitch marker, I had to guesstimate. I know. At the sewing store, come on camera, ha! I know at the sewing store I can get this style of safety pin, uh, nickel free, rust free for about a hundred for two dollars. Um, I went ahead and gave them the benefit of the doubt for their pricing though at two dollars. They don't really sell that size. That's mine. The other thing we got was a little bar of soap from Beekman. All right, camera. Really? There we go. And I priced it by ounce. It does smell really good, though. I'm not going to lie, that smells amazing. If I used bar soap on my body, even when I was traveling, I would put this in my bag and take it with me. I mean, this smells super. Um, it's $15 for a nine ounce bar. So this is approximately a dollar and 60 cents, 66 cents worth of the soap. <sighs> I did the file at a dollar because that's the kind of thing where you get like three for a buck at Target. I don't know where they're sourcing their stuff from, but three for a dollar at Target is about what I can get stuff like that for. Um, so what I came up with is the total value with the cost of the pattern and everything, the pattern's $4, was $48.86. Um, I paid $60 for the box, $20 per box. <clears throat> and the contents retail value was $48.86. Now that doesn't include like their labor in cutting up balls of yarn or anything else, but for the cost of, for the cost of the yarn, this easily to hit $60 in retail value of what you actually got you could have included the full skeins of all three yarns. Um, like I said, the, the shipping is approximately 10 bucks for all three boxes. So that takes you to $58. So retail value, we're still short in here. Um, I literally had no way of figuring out a pricing for a single tapestry needle, but I mean, a dollar? I think that's being fair. And this is so big. That's not even going to work in this project. I mean, look at how huge. Let's see if I can get just like. Of course, I pulled up like the white. So it's even hard. I mean, look at how huge that is compared to the yarn with this project. I mean, it. there is no way I can weave in the ends of, of this project with this needle. Um. So, I mean, I'm, I'm going to try to be as fair as possible with this. I'm not as just like utterly disgusted as I was in December. And I think part of it is I've come to expect disappointment with the knit box. Um, I roughly ran what summer at summer tips and stitches and Rachel at cozy corner crochet I probably still got your channel name wrong. I'm sorry. Um, they 
Okay, hold on just one second. Okay, so in the Jimmy Bean crochet kit, it was also $60 a month or $60 for the three months. Excuse me. They've been getting a poof in theirs. They got the same bag for $10. And they got the pattern, which I think was $3.50 on Ravelry. It's, um, I can't remember the company. It's not Mothy and the Squid, but it's someone like that that I know from another. Anyway, it's a, it's a floor poof, an ottoman poof kind of thing. I think it's adorable and I kind of want to make one myself. Um, but they've been getting these. Which are the river wash and stone wash peas cotton. Now this has four, 50 balls in it. And I paid 50 bucks for this. Well, I didn't pay $50 for this. I actually paid 50 minus 40%. But because I got it at Hobby Lobby. But they've been getting these little bonbons to make this poof. Now, Rachel's actually making the poof. And like I said, the pattern was like $3.50. I think they got like 40 of the little mini bonbons total in their six months worth of the kit. Um, I haven't seen Rachel unboxing month three for that yet. But Summer got a needle gauge, which is like $3 value. Um, there's something else. Oh, she got an extra little like notions pouch, which is like a $2, $3 value. Um, so I mean, just in like the yarn, so they got $40 worth of the regular price bonbons plus the bag. That's $50, $10 shipping for three months worth of the box. And they've already broken even on the crochet box. Whereas the knit box, even with shipping, we're $2 short on what we paid retail value. And like I've said in videos before, I expect a little bit better than retail. Um, you Anywhere from 25 to 50% off your retail price is what I expect. If I'm taking the risk and spending my money on a mystery product, I expect to get a 25 to 50% off deal. Um, I do subscribe to other subscription services outside of the crafting world. Um, at Allure Beauty Box is one that I'm, I'm subscribed to right now. Um, I was a little meh on some of the things, but like with the coupon code from last month, I was able to like grab this ring for $7 because of the $25 gift certificate or gift code I had for the ring. Um, so, you know, that right there may, I mean, I would have easily paid 15 bucks for the ring that made up my cost on the box. Um, not to mention I got a lipstick I like, an eyeshadow I like, a mascara that I like. I mean, I had a wide variety of things in there that I will actually use. And I feel like I'm getting value I got a full size mascara. If you're a woman who wears mascara or a man who wears mascara, you understand that a mascara that's decent is still going to set you back $9. So one that at least works and makes my eyebrow, my eyelashes darker. Not to mention I got brow gel, which was pretty awesome. Um, with the Jimmy Bean knit box, I don't even feel like I'm getting retail value, much less that 25 to 50% off discount. Um, with their crochet club and what I'm seeing from other people's boxes, you are definitely getting a much higher value. Now to the non-tangible aspects to the Jimmy Bean box. Have I had fun with it? Oh, definitely. The, the pattern and the, I'm sorry, I've got both cats now under my camera level. Um, I, I've enjoyed the pattern. It's a very well written pattern. It's an interesting pattern. It's the kind of pattern I enjoy doing. Like I've said before, I enjoy sampler kinds of projects. I'm not necessarily a cowl person, but at least this isn't the like close 
fitted kind of cowl. It's more of the drapey, almost spring summer transition wear kind of thing. It is lightweight. I do really like the yarns that they chose. I just wish they hadn't put them in combination with each other. Um, as far as I am a, an intermediate to advanced level knitter and a, an intermediate to advanced level crocheter. Um, what I've seen with the knit kit for both months is if you're just learning how to knit, you're going to have months where you can easily do the pattern and not feel intimidated like last month's, uh, or last, the end of the old knit club, uh, with Jimmy Bean. With that one, it was a, a ripple stitch scarf. That's something that if you're a beginner to intermediate, you can easily do. Um, it's not even really a skill builder at that point. It's just a little bit extra. This one with the different amount of stitch patterns you're using and learning how to work on the bias, doing a provisional cast on, which I haven't really discussed uh, too much. And I will probably discuss more in my um, video when I get it finished and actually share it as a finished object. But as far as a skill builder, something interesting for a more advanced knitter, definitely. Um, I think they offer a nice variety of patterns in their knit box. Um, and if you had never used Malbrigo or Cascade or Universal Yarns, um, you know, it would have been a nice foray into those things. Like I said, if you were getting more, I mean, I just don't feel like you're getting the cash value for it. Um, the quality is, they were all high quality items. Um, the quality is one of the things that I, I wanted to take just a second to discuss. Even though I don't feel like we're getting the value for our dollar with this box, it is filled with quality items. None of these are things that you're like, oh, really? And I mean, even with the crochet box, I'm not a huge cotton person, but even I bought the sampler of the river wash and stone wash. It's, that's the, what it's called. It's the river wash, stone wash uh, color pack. There's also the Cortana pack, which is all the uh, mercerized cottons, and it's like 100 and Hobby Lobby has them for like $75, I think. I, I don't, I, this is a little bit more my, my speed there. And these are 100% cotton, I believe. No, 78% cotton and 22% acrylic. So that was for the crochet kit. Um, so... Uh, like I said, I feel like I broke this out kind of OCD and particularly in figuring out how many yards we got each month and totaling that up and figuring out what percentage and everything else we were paying in the end. I mean, you can see this is the Cascade, Malbury Go, and Universal Bamboo Pop. Um, but I really felt like I... I needed to break this down even further, um, and particularly because this was a month where we got nothing but these tiny balls. Um, each yarn is a quality yarn. I have no problem with the quality of the products themselves. I don't think they mix very well together. I don't think the spin and the ply and the texture of the yarns mixed very well together. But as far as like, would I ever buy the Cascade Longwood Yarn or the Malbrigo Arroyo or even the Universal Bamboo Pop? Of course, they were all perfectly fine quality yarns. Um, I just don't think we got our value out of the box. Um, so that's kind of where I'm coming down on it. Um, at this point, it's not like the end of this was going to be some like spectacular alteration to what we got or anything. Um, when I opened it and saw even how little amounts we got, um, it, I knew I had the information I needed to go ahead and just wrap this review up. Now, as I finish this over the next three or four weeks. I don't know how long it's going to take. Cause like I said, it is taking me a long time. I have to sit down and think about it. Um, as I 
move forward if I do run out of one of the yarns and like um I did run out of the white in the first month uh I will contact Jimmy Bean and see if they're willing to send me a replacement for that one and I will do an update video should that be the case because that would also be something the fact that I ran out would be a massive negative and how their customer service would handle that situation um that could bode both ways. Um, I am canceling this box. I've already canceled this box. Uh, unfortunately, the box I replaced it with for review already got here. So I'm actually going to sign off this video and start filming the unboxing for that video. But I don't know that I would spend the money on the knit kit. Um, if you knit and crochet, I would recommend looking at some of the reviews for the crochet kit and see what all of those include. Um, like I said, Rachel at Cozy Corner Crochet, I think. Link will be down below to her uh, her YouTube channel. Um, she's actually doing the pattern, so she will be able to tell you more about the pattern than I can. I did purchase the pattern, though. Um because I was able to find it on, on Ravelry. I was able to purchase separately. Same same thing with the pattern for the Knit Club, the Moxie Scarf. That is something you can buy separately if you just want the pattern for it. And I do rec highly recommend the pattern. Um, if you like cowls, if you enjoy working with a size 2 yarn or a sport weight yarn, I highly recommend the pattern. If you're looking to learn more stitches, if you want something interesting without being overwhelming, I am thinking about doing this pattern without color changes, um, just to see how I feel about the pattern um, when I'm not being swayed by my frustration with the fibers. Um, but yeah, so I, I would say skip the Knit Club, maybe look at the Crochet Club. Um, spend your money on Knit Crate. <laughs> um, I, I, spend your money, if you buy a knit crate or for less money in my opinion if you just want to try something different new and interesting uh the uh darn good yarn i actually really enjoyed um but you have to really look at those fibers and say that's something i want to work with or i want to sorry i keep smudging my glasses because it is the end of the day my face is super shiny super oily um and I guess just my face is smooshing up my glasses. Um, but yeah, I would say skip Jimmy Bean Knit Club. And it's a little bit better than the old one. <laughs> but not enough to... I'm not mad at it. I'm disappointed. Uh, and after running the math, I'm frustrated and disappointed. So, I mean... For all I know, they could be saying this has a $4 value. Like I said, free to whoever wins my 500 subscriber giveaway. And I will put it in a little plastic bag so it's not like picking up fuzzies like it's been trying to do. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, I mean, I do really like the bag. I actually am considering... Uh, total side note. So... Jane Wynn of the Scraptastic Yarn podcast apparently makes bags that are just awesome that I've somehow missed this whole time. Um, I saw Summer with some and they have like top snaps. And I was like, dude, I didn't realize you could put that on a standard wedge. And then I was looking at this going, duh. Anyway. So I'm thinking about making a wedge bag and I've got um, actually really nice quality plastic snaps. So I'm thinking about on a wedge bag because I really do like the snap. Now for this, because of the width of it and how small it is, it that that's all three boxes, by the way, in here. Um, so this was perfect for the Knit Club, whereas the Crochet Club, it was way too small. Um, but I do like this as a small project bag where you can just drop it in another bag. So I am considering either making some or buying some this size. I really like this size. So canceled. Wouldn't recommend. Um, 
don't think it's a good value for what you're spending on it. But fun project, quality yarns. So if if you need inspiration, maybe it you're and you are making a three month investment when you do this. So it's not really a twenty dollar investment. It is a sixty dollar investment because what are you going to do with one month's worth of stuff? You don't even excuse me get the full pattern for that. So anyway, that's my two cents on the Jimmy Bean Knit Club. Um, if you've had other experiences with their knit club, please let me know down below. I have heard that their customer service is amazing. This is in no reflection whatsoever of the Jimmy Bean company, their customer service, their quality of service, or the quality of products that they sell. I do purchase from Jimmy Bean Wool. I find them to be an amazing company to purchase things from. Um, as I've mentioned before, these Chow Gu Red Lace Needles are my favorite knitting needles of all time now. Um, I love the cable and I love the point. Um, Jimmy Bean has them for a very reasonable competitive price. And if you say need a whole bunch of them and can get your shipping up or maybe throw a nice quality luxury ball of yarn in too. <laughs> Um, so yes, they're a company I will continue to purchase from. This is not a reflection of them as a company or their customer service. This is just reviewing my opinion of the value and the quality of the knit box. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I look forward to seeing what you think down below. I really enjoy getting other opinions and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.